One thing I have forgotten about is that earlier uh, in the previous chapters I told you that we will have to go back to the categories remove file to add removing of the images from the server because every time when you remove the category all of the records associated with the category all of the images record associated with this cat specific category are also removed from a database but files are not so obviously we need to go back to this file and add a little bit to it to make sure that the images are also removed whenever the images are removed from this uh, from the database image records so if you go back to our editor open our ink folder open our functions file scroll down and let's create a new function called get images and we pass one parameter category okay now if we copy everything from the previous function and paste it inside of this new one now we need to also create images array which will leave empty now SQL statement say statement select image from images where category equals our category ID passed through the uh, through the function as a parameter and we can remove the else statement and return return here as well so we're going to be if there are any records returned then we're going to do our do while loop so do while our browse equal mysql fetch so okay now every time we'll find the record we want to push it into the file name into our images array so array push our array name and rows image the file name retrieved from a database and lastly what we need to do we need to obviously return our array all collected file names okay now if we copy the name of the function if we open our categories remove file right at the top after the if is set condition let's create images array by assigning our new function to it to the variable okay and we're going to be passing our did variable which is the id of our currently viewed category so now we need to check if our images array isn't empty and if it's not let's remove our images so for each images as image and now we're going to check if file exists so if is file and it's readable then root path dot directory separator dot gallery path thumb dot directory separator dot our image name okay if this file exists and it's readable and everything let's unlink it which means remove it unlink function and pass the same value the same string okay copy the entire if statement and remove the thumb from it to remove the large image as well okay our file is now ready if we go back to our page reload it if we remove Dublin for instance yes we want it should also remove one of the images from our photos so if we reload this folder yes it's gone and the same if we reload our thumb folder if we go back now and remove our bus country category yes we want to remove go back refresh all images are now gone so that's everything in this section and now we're really moving to the next one